Glory to Jesus Christ. Settle down now. Settle down. Now, turn to the person next to you and say, you need a faith lift. I am sorry that I'm not able to join all of you. I'd like to greet you from St. Thomas the Apostle Church. I'm uh, in Rawway this after, well, this morning and this afternoon with uh, all several of the seminarians. We were all out uh, in Hillsboro yesterday where we celebrated a beatification liturgy for one of our priests who was martyred uh, in the uh, 1940s. And uh, the Archbishop of Pittsburgh and Bishop Kurt were there along with uh, many of our priests and all of us uh, seminarians, all 10 of us had come out for that. Today we've split and had gone to a number of parishes. Three of us and Father Ron have come here to Rawway to St. Thomas the Apostle, where Father Bill, if you remember, has done a Bible study in the past uh, for Father Jim Hayer, the pastor here. So Angie and I send our prayers and love, and uh, I'm sorry we can't be with you, but uh, we're with you in prayer and in spirit, and of course we remember and commemorate our dear Father Bill to the Lord, uh, and we ask his intercession in uh, the book of Revelation. How many know that Father Bill loved to preach the scriptures and his favorite book was Revelation? So in the 20th chapter of Revelation, John has a vision and he describes a, uh, a new heaven and a new earth. And the old heaven, the old earth had passed away. And he says that uh, this place, there was no more pain or sorrow or tears or mourning. And of course, we know that that is heaven and we commemorate Father Bill to our Lord Jesus, who he loved so much, and to Mama Mary, who he also loved with his heart. And uh, we ask uh, them to, to look after him and to receive him into the heavenly kingdom. And uh, continue to, uh, we should continue to gather and to pray and to uh, commemorate him to the Lord's care and ask him to intercede for all of us. Amen. Because we know that we have great intercessors in heaven. That's where the great cloud of witnesses are. Uh, and uh, we rely on them for help so that you and I can continue to fight the good fight of faith here on earth with our eye always on, on the prize. Amen. And, uh, Please know that Angie and I love you very much and that you continue to be in our prayers. You're remembered at daily liturgy at our seminary chapel. And um, I also got word from uh, George Stefan, our tour guide, when Father Bill and I would go to the Holy Land. He sends his love and prayers and blessings to all of you, and he hopes to see all of you soon. And... Uh, with you today uh, is Vince Maldonado, who had joined us in the Holy Land, and Father Ignatius, and Father Ernie Rush. All of them are leading two trips uh, in Father Bill's memory, uh, so it's an opportunity for us to gather again and to remember Father Bill and to make new memories. Father Ernie is going to Italy in uh, March, and Father Ignatius and Vince are going to be with George in the Holy Land in March as well. So call me if you uh, would like to go uh, or visit the website or see either Vince or Father Ignatius or Father Ernie for more information. Hopefully some of you will, uh, will make the trip and we can uh, remember Father Bill in the places that he loved to travel and um, make new memories with, with each other. So may the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always now and until the ages of ages. Please pray for me and God bless you all. Glory to Jesus Christ.